Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Main Jewel Awakening. My name is Kiana, or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So today I want to go ahead and get your daily increase and see what we can expect for today. How can we increase the energetic space today, Spirit? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any of your ninth house placements. All right, all right. Guys, don't forget we did release the fourth edition of the Rummage. Um, if you are not a subscriber, you can send us an email. Um, you can find the email down in the description box below. And I'll send that news newsletter right out to your email address, okay? All right, it says, so it's a time to give rather than to take. And we also have a win-win outcome is forecast. All right, so we have new moon in Virgo and then full moon in Libra. We just had a full moon in Scorpio. So let's see what's going on here. The time to give rather than to take. What's the overall theme of the day, Spirit, for Sagittarius? What is the theme of the day for Sagittarius? Guys, I hope this message is finding you in good health and in good spirits. So the overall theme of the day is the Hierophant. What to embrace today is the Six of Wands. And what to avoid today is the Two of Wands. Wow. Definitely want to make sure that you're planning today. Um, you know, don't just be taking no willy-nilly plans and moving forward too fast. But what to be embraced today, honey, there's a victory coming in. The Six of Wands, that's a, that's getting some type of attention. But the, with this saying, it's a time to give rather than to take. That's really telling me that um, don't get too full of yourself today. You do, like, you can look, look. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is what you can look forward to today in the Six of Wands. So I definitely feel like that you've got a win on your hands today. But it's like... Don't go out here. Don't don't let this go to your head. And then you start planning based off of ego or, you know, moving too fast because of an ego issue because of this win here. And then the overall theme. Yeah, we got the world card. So some, wow. Oh, this is beautiful energy for today, Sagittarius. This is like, this is going to be a beautiful day. So can we do some clarifying on the Hierophants? Yes. I definitely feel like that there's some lessons being learned, wisdom being shared. There's help. Like I just feel like that this is that help. Let's see, Spirit. Okay. Yeah. Wow. We got the full card. We do have the devil and we do have the five of cups. So I feel like that there's a new beginning. I do feel like that it's going to be a challenge for you to detach from some things. And the advice for this is to just kind of like make peace with the past. So, um, on the Eight of Pentacles. So, this could have to do with work. So, there could be this devil energy is kind of throwing me off. But I real I'm like I, I'm trying to figure out what this devil energy is for you today. But I feel like the most important thing here, with the Five of Cups being right after that, is there's a need to make peace with the past and begin to start to like you know what i'm saying like yes you're gonna have to detach from something yes it may be considered a loss um you may get sad because of having to let this go when you take this new beginning or this is the, the overall theme is some wisdom coming in the lessons coming in that in order to take a leap of faith to begin anew to be the full card take this new beginning you are going to have to detach from something and it could and, and you know it, it could cause some sorrow for you to detach from that but the it's like i gotta give you know in order to give you have to detach from it right that's the overall theme of the day so let's see. 
I may come back up and see what that devil energy is, guys. But I feel like that that's the overall message there. All right, Spirit. So what Sagittarius can look forward to today is the Six of Wands. Can you give us more insight into the Six of Wands? So the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and Sad. In the two of cups at the bottom of the day. Sagittarius. So what you can look forward to today is the six of wands, right? It's the ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and the lovers. Okay. So, you know, I feel like that it's like making the choice for um, a work opportunity or a, like... I don't know like I was getting ready to say um, a work opportunity or a love opportunity but I really am feeling like this is something that is getting ready to be both the ace of cups ace of pentacles and the lovers damn Sag go on with your dad self so that what to avoid let me get over here to that Yeah, there's definitely this here, honey. This here. And look what's at the top of the deck. The Ace of Swords. And it's coming in. Some, this is, I'm telling you, like, this right here is telling me that something is getting ready to be emotionally fulfilling. Financially, it has the potential to be emotionally fulfilling and financially fulfilling. But it requires you to make a place for, like it, when you get this, when you gain this, it requires you to stay in your heart space. It requires you to make decisions out of your heart space. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is the six. Of, well, a lot of people realize the six of wands is Leo. But here's the thing. Leo, that Leo energy, it doesn't necessarily rule the heart space, but it is head honcho. Um, well, that is the ruler. Let me. Without Leo energy being in the, like balance, your heart. If, if your Leo energy is out of balance, your heart chakra is out of balance, because your Leo energy allows you to see your vulnerability. It encourages you to embrace your vulnerability, and in order to embrace your vulnerability, you do have to be operating out of your heart space. So I feel like that there is a win here. There is a win here for you. And it is an emotional and it is financially fulfilling. You know what I'm saying? But it does. I'm going to say it this is saying remain humble here. But I feel like that there is a, a lava, lava, lava. <laughs> Let's get to the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here for what's to be avoided for Sagittarius? Guys, if you're still with me at eight minutes in and resonating, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. So we have the Six of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Eight of Swords. Um, you know, this is actually... I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting an analyst paralysis from this. Like trying to overthink a situation. Because the two of wands is planning and then it's taking those actual steps towards implementing that plan. But this is what to avoid. And the, the two of wands to the six of pentacles is really telling me that... Um, There's a need to remain optimistic here. See, here we go with more Leo energy. This time the Leo here is in the challenge position for what to avoid. And so that's telling me that, you know, uh, this is that pessimism energy. Okay. It's like, do I have, do I have what it takes? Is this, do I, can I give into this situation? Can this situation give into me? I don't know. I don't know. I probably shouldn't do this. You know what I'm saying? So this is the, really giving me that um, avoid planning, like avoid looking into the future or planning from this place of 
feeling like either you don't have enough to pour into the situation or the other person. There is a need to be optimistic here because there is a, a win when outcome is forecasted. Like you can look forward to the victory, but you have to believe it and you have to. The Eight of Swords is self imposed imprisonment. And it's because you keep yourself stagnant. You keep yourself from movement because of the way that you're viewing a situation, the way that you're thinking about a situation. So it's like you're moving into the future. You're taking a win with you. Don't allow this pessimistic mindset thinking that either you don't have enough or someone else doesn't have enough to give into the situation. This is a time to give rather than to take, which means that you might be going into a situation where it seems like you may be um, footing the bill or, you know what I'm saying? Some it, it, it doesn't matter because while you're giving right now, it's aligning you for a win is really what I'm feeling. So let's get some advice, okay? It's a time to give rather than to take. A win-win outcome is forecast. But that definitely lets me know that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to give something that you're gonna consider a loss or that you're gonna you know be sad about or something along that lines. <laughs> yeah. Here and now is at the bottom of the deck. But it's like here behind here and now is treasure island. Um, lawyer heart, here's your advice. What does your heart want? Do what your heart needs. And that's an eight card. It's definitely progression there. That's um that's that karmic energy as well. Wow. Oh, way too many. Wait, wow, but look what Look what made nothing else fell upright, but look what nourishment while waiting. But look what I seen is victory. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, spirit, let me. Yeah, breakthrough, inner truth. I mean, come on, Sag. This is beautiful energy. But like I said, I do feel like that this is really saying that it's. You're releasing for something, and it's something that you're not necessarily wanting to release from. It could be, cons like, initially you could view it as, you know, you losing something. But this is a win for you. Yeah, this is your destined path. Destiny path. Keep trying. Keep moving forward. All right. Now, let's get an Archangel Michael. Let's not leave a day without Archangel Michael to her to help us fight our battles. Ooh. Yeah, it says open up to your spiritual gift. Have no fear. The deck kind of went crazy. Give me a second, guys. If you can't tell, I'm moving my living room around a little bit. So you may see a couple of different settings before we settle on one for a couple weeks. <laughs> I'm a Sag. I like to switch things up. Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the details need work. Reflect before moving forward. So there's definitely a need with this two of wands being in the what to avoid. There's definitely a need to um, to make some adjustments to your game plan. Keep trying to figure this out. But just know that, you know, even though you're going to have to make some adjustments to your game plan, don't take it as a loss. Don't take it as an ill. Still view it as an opportunity to 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 go in a new direction or to, you know, make a decision, to make better decisions. You're definitely being called to make a decision here. You're definitely being called to make a decision here. Yeah. Alrighty, Sag, I hope this message offered you some guidance on your day. If this message resonated, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Lovingly, Sag.